Let's move on to Bitcoin, shall we? That's a, a virtual currency. We're going to talk about the cyber threat now. And who's ever heard of the Bitcoin? It's even been called the future of money, the Bitcoin. More on this cryptic and still somewhat confusing currency that is Bitcoin. People are fascinated by anything that makes new highs every day for weeks on end, which Bitcoin has done. Is it a, is it a market? Is it a bank? Is it an exchange? We're asking whether or not this currency really has any longevity, let alone legitimacy. You'd have to be an idiot not to know how much risk you're bearing if you purchase Bitcoin. The value of it, I mean, look at the chart, is is sinking and skyrocketing. This is a commodity. It's no different than the tulip mania of the 1600s. The feds are starting to crack down on so-called virtual currencies. Wild West currency. It had a bad stigma. People said that it was being used for narco trafficking, potentially uh, to back terrorism efforts. Some rumors that it's this Japanese guy, but others say no, that he's a fake name, who's a pseudonym. We, I mean, we you're no literally idea. putting real money onto a system that we don't even know who created it. Is this, is this legitimate in your view? It is legitimate and it is a fascinating experiment. It's an interesting brainchild though. It really is for people who around the world who are upset yeah. with fiat currency. Talk about Silk Road and the Drugs Association. What about HSBC? Billions of dollars of money laundering right there. Yeah. The current scandal was, uh, with co-op. What, 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 people what, are scared by the banking in this country and around the world. The, but the banking crisis there does raise the intriguing question of what is money? What exactly is Bitcoin and how does it work? There is no central bank, no central authority, no a corporation behind it. Knows no borders, knows no boundaries, and in many cases knows no rules. It's a new internet protocol like email or the web. Yeah. All of this is done on peer-to-peer -peer networks. Nobody really even knows who created the Bitcoin. Developed entirely on an open platform. Mm. No one's in charge. Free totally market. decentralized. Okay, Free so, market. So the value of each Bitcoin hit a new high. It has, as this chart shows, been skyrocketing in value over the past three years. I know some people are obsessed with this and have been all over this quote-unquote phenomenon. So many people are jumping into this virtual currency. It's created so much attention. One of the biggest Bitcoin exchanges actually reported that it was having trouble technologically keeping up with all the order flow. Its unknown creator setting a finite number of the digital currency of 21 million with only 11 million in circulation. The maximum amount of Bitcoins that can ever exist on the planet is 21 million Bitcoins. Some would argue that it is more useful as a form of money because it cannot be debased by people like Ben Bernanke or Mr. Draghi. There's no inflation because you don't run the risk of anyone printing the currency. Geek currency, Bitcoin, has been under fire recently for its dramatic price swing. Is it just going to keep on going up? Now, if you didn't bite at the Bitcoin craze, you may have saved yourself some money. Mary Thompson is here. What was that with the flash crash? Everybody's been talking about it, and hackers are actually to blame for this most recent sell-off. Last night, the digital currency's major exchange, Mt. Gox, as it's called, was hit with a denial-of-service attack. What do you make of this madness? Well, I think Bitcoin has turned into a massive multiplayer online game where speculators are trying to out-speculate each other. Despite the extreme volatility, businesses are trying to cash in on this uh, phenomenon. A lot of venture capitalists are actually coming into the space. Some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley and even some big Wall Street names too. Hedge funds, individual investors. All of the above. Private investors, private capital, venture capital is very interested in this trend. More, there are more and more places accepting it. It's just that you're very far from critical mass. The world's first ever Bitcoin ATM is coming to Silicon Valley. I mean, you got, you got this bar here in the middle of Manhattan, now suddenly taking it. Um, in various countries, that's really starting to uh, increase. So China has been running pretty popular in countries like Argentina. It's Berlin that's become uh, the capital of the currency. Many businesses are already accepting payment uh, with the Bitcoins. Uh, Shopify.com, which has uh, thousands of uh, retailers, just have started accepting Bitcoin. Why accept Bitcoins? Why not? My mother's friends said, oh, can you ask your son what he thinks about Bitcoin? It was the same day they fell 50% as well. And there are a lot of people who are fans of Bitcoin, but there are also regulators and officials who remain concerned. Multiple federal agencies touch Bitcoin in some sort of way, everything from the Treasury Department to the Federal Election Commission. Now it's starting to, like if you can buy a, a drink with it, it's a real thing. I think that there's no way federal regulators will stand for this. The government shuts it down, what's it worth then? Bye-bye. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. The government wanted to shut it down, wanted to prevent you from, from uh, conducting a transaction. Uh, they had no, have nowhere to go. It's like cash. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can want to regulate it all you want, but I'm a little, I'm a little worried that virtual currencies, whether it's Bitcoin or the next one that pops up isn't something that that from a practical uh, 
uh, sense you'll be able to. I mean, does, doesn't the government claim an utter and total and absolute monopoly on the means of exchange? Just last month, of course, the government shut down the Silk Road website, an Amazon-like marketplace for drugs, guns, other illicit goods. Gambling and, and other things and, and drugs, the, the pe people are saying that that's what's happening. So you wonder how long in that sense it's going to last. Value goes up. It sort of happens within the network. But if sentiment on Bitcoin starts to go down, you're probably going to watch that value crumble. This kind of stuff is scary. You know, I mean, the volatility of it has been outrageous. <laughs> you know, it goes from 100 to 260. Yes. So I could walk you in with my brand iPhone. new iPhone. Yes. <laughs> and I could dial up the, the diner, whatever it yes. is, and say, here's my, here's my Bitcoin. Are you pro or I, I don't get it. I don't know. Joe Weisenthal, the business insider. I'm not on others, this bandwagon like, yet. I'm, I'm not an early Scott, adopter, though. Scott, what do you think? I'm with you. I don't understand it. But the whole thing yeah. is done to the extent that the viewers uh, don't understand this. And uh, by the way, I had to look it up to understand it. So if you've got a Bitcoin, you could sell me the Bitcoin. Well, it's confusing. It doesn't really fit in the normal regulatory categories. We, we hear you, Jeff. Uh, I'm just trying to get to grips with all this technology stuff. This latest surge came thanks to some high power support from within the U.S. Bitcoin arriving in Washington on the national stage. They've done the, the due diligence to say this is simply not a, a so money laundering. So how do the regulars get around it, though? I, I mean, don't know how they're going to do it, but I think, as, as Nick was saying, I think it's got a shot. That's what this hearing is all about. Today and tomorrow is the legitimacy, the rising legitimacy right. of Bitcoin. Do you think this is the tipping point uh, that you get the Fed chairman name-checking it? Does it feel mainstream to you now? Bitcoins have come a very long way in a very short period of time. There's going to be some fallout. Do you ever think that it has the potential to replace traditional paper currency? We are arriving at the day where Something electronic uh, can threaten traditional money. What you're talking about right now is for the next three to five years, an unbelievably better store value. It is gold 2.0. They think bypasses yeah. governments and bypasses regulation. That yeah. says something about the, yeah, it's, the climate it's a, it's a, it's a socioeconomic movement which we're going through at the moment. People have 100% complete control over their own money. It's the first time in the entire history of the world in which something like that's existed. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is the first example. I believe they're going to change the world but probably not in the way we expect. This is the time where people should be trying really big, crazy things.